Hello everybody, my name is Ozzy889, and I'm going to be doing something what I consider pretty fun. It's it's a nice it's a nice thing to do every once in a while. I'm gonna be doing a Nuzlocke run, but I'm going to be using a a program that basically lets me mix it up a bit. It's a randomized run. As for what exactly is randomized, well, I'll have a list of everything in the description box, so be sure to check that out if you're looking for the details. But I, as I go along with this game, uh, you should be able to spot most of what is randomized. But we're, we're gonna go ahead and just get this running, because if I'm pretty sure anybody that's watching this knows what a Nuzlocke is, because, God... If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, you do yourself a favor. Look it up on uh, Google or something. There's there's so much information, and it's one of those uh, self-challenge run type things that varies uh, between people constantly. The rules seem to be ever-shifting. But the basic one is, is that you can only catch one Pokemon per route. And if that po and should anyone of your Pokemon fate in battle, it's considered dead. It's the general gist of things. But I like to have my own little spin on things as well to make sure it's all fun for me, you know. For example, gonna go to options, turn on tech speed to fast, cause dear God, it's so slow. And we're gonna battle set. Uh, style is going to be set because that's the real way to play. And we're going to just ignore mom here. Bye, mom. Nice to meet Now let's try to step into grass. But no! That play in the grass would be so bad. Now, the first three Pokemon here are going to be random. However, I set it to where the first three Pokemon will always have two evolutions. So let's see what we got here. First Pokemon is... Beldum! Okay. <laughs> Weedle! Cool. Okay. And Bell Sprout. Hmm. Okay, here's what I know. If I pick Bel uh, Beldum here, then the rival's gonna pick this one. Pick this, you're gonna get Beldum. And if I pick this, you get Weedle. So, do I want to cripple my opponent by purposely picking Bellsprout so he gets a Weedle? I... Th here's the thing. You would think Beldon would be the most obvious choice, right? But I don't think he learns anything for, like, the longest time. Bellsprout will learn things at a decent rate. Then again, my opponent belt him. No, 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 I give my opponent Weedle. I'm right. What am I saying? Uh. You know what? This is gonna be. I'm gonna regret not getting Beldum, but Bell Sprout, sure. I know exactly what to call this Pokemon. Hey, <laughs> you got a Weedle. <laughs> uh, well, this will actually be kind of interesting because I don't know what Bellsprat has at level five. Hopefully, he knows at least Vine Whip. 
she knows my web. Yep! Ten uses. Well, I'm not gonna win this. Uh, well, I am playing on an emulator, and all I do own this game legitimately, uh, there's no way for me to set randomized for stuff on anything but an emulator. So let's just speed this up. There we go. Because there was no way I was going to win. So let's go ahead and get out into the world. I probably will want to grind a little bit, though. But I'm worried. Also, d d losing to the rival at the beginning in a Nuzlocke, considering I really have no chance, it, it, oh, that is forgiven. I'm not going to cry to losing to the rival in the first battle. There's just no way to... And besides, I don't want to reset over and over and over again. Cacturn? Well, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to do jack to that. Oh, there's a target. Let's kill it. Probably give some decent XP. Eh. I think my big problem here is just that violent being ten uses. Alright, it's careful nature. You know what? I really need to level up. No, not another character. Why why do you do this to me? I am going to speed this up a little bit because, frankly, it's boring for everybody if I'm just grinding and... Am I just surrounded by grass types? I'm surrounded by grass types. <laughs> okay, never mind. I, I apologize, game. Uh, I'm a ground type or a water type and... Sure, technically qualifies is a ground type. There we go, 112 XP. Was a little risky though, he did hit him really hard. Two levels, that's good enough. I'll try not to abuse um, the emulator to make it unfair for the run. I have no problem if it's like just speeding things up for the sake of speeding things up because, well, things are going to be slow in the beginning. It's an RPG, that's just how it works. But I'm not going to be using save states to ruin the challenge. I've had problems before where battles would go on too long in a Nuzlocke. I think like a, a particularly long normal, pure normal type versus a ghost type where the ghost type had no attacking moves left and normal type had no way to hurt the ghost type. So it ended up becoming a struggle fight. And it went on forever. Nice crit.
At least I'm kind of getting of an idea of what Pokemon I have of the potential to run into here. I wouldn't mind having that, uh, the Flygon or the Growlithe. Okay, Kyogre, <laughs> okay. Well, great news is, is I can kill it. Bad news is, is that I put a ban on myself. I am not using any legendaries. I refuse to use legendaries in a Nuzlocke run. That is banned. Like one of the best things about a randomizer. Just suddenly you're just walking along Pallet Challenge route and suddenly Kyogre. <laughs> like, how did you get here? I'm lost. I can't find my way home. At least now we get the Pokedex. Speaking of the Pokedex, uh, one thing I did do with the randomizer was I made it to where I start off with the national decks. This is very important to have in this uh, in this particular version of Fire uh, Red and Leaf Green. Without it, certain Pokemon wouldn't even evolve. For example, um, Zubat. Zubat, if without the national decks, would only evolve into Golbat. It would not go the one step further in order to evolve into Crobat. And speaking of evolutions, I also made it to where that uh, you don't have to worry about trading to evolve certain Pokemon. It's... I don't know exactly what level certain Pokemon would evolve at instead, but basically all Pokemon that doesn't have, uh, that evolves by trading or evolve in some weird way that you can't do. For example, uh, I just realized the first Pokemon I ran into is an Ekans. Alright. Let's catch it. Well, it's the first Pokemon I encountered on this route with the capabilities of catching. It qualifies. Well, I guess I can't complain that it's not an easy catch, but... It's Ekans! Alright, what should I call you? Um... I got nothing better. <laughs> I'd rather make quick decisions on nicknames than sit there and ponder for hours. Alright, what do you got? You're naughty. You got shed skin and rap. Oh boy, rap! Because... That's fast and effective attacking. Oh, it could have been worse. I could have gotten you. Okay, where was I? I don't want to worry about trade evolutions, that's all. Especially since I'm on emulator and trading is pretty much an impossibility. There's also certain things like uh, evolutions, Umbreon and Espeon. Fire Red and Leaf Green, as well as um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, don't have a day-night system. So it's literally impossible to evolve them. Oh, look, I just had to show up. Of course, Roar. 
Actually, I should take this time to uh, level up noise. Uh, hyper speed powers go! I promise to record everything in the case of a Pokemon dying for the sake of, you know, keeping the challenge legitimate, but this is just gonna be one of those, eventually, I win. You will die sooner or later. Nearly there. It's gotta be over soon. Like there. Whoa, plus three attack? Jeez. Uh, poison damage is physical based, and ow! No, get noise out of there! Oh, of course! Fusion! Yay! There. Oh, I guess that was just a little one-time thing. If I was getting plus three attack on every level up, that'd be nuts. Okay, so if I see a wild Kyogre, I know to get the hell out. Well, at least a uh, rat has more PP than Vine Whip. Oh look, it's my favorite punching bag. Sorry, I don't like this Pokemon. I really don't like Club Fair. It's pink. It's pink. And can't you see the pink, man? I should take this time to go to a different route and find another Pokemon. Oh, that reminds me. Over here. Items in the world, either invisible or in plain sight, are randomized. I don't know what I get until I pick it up. That's a lot of money. Actually, I should go buy more Pokeballs. I could probably... Yeah, I should buy way more bubbles. Oh. Sell... Where's that pearl? Nice! Alright, I think buying 10 right now is a good thing. And then... I don't, I don't have to worry about poison right now, as both of my Pokemon and my party are poison types. Chance of them, they're not gonna get poisoned. So, buying three potions, not a bad idea. Which is weird, because in a Nuzlocke run, I'm like, oh, first thing I buy, potions and po uh, Pokeballs and antidotes. Always remember to buy antidotes in a Nuzlocke run. But it's not really necessary at the moment. Route 22. Let's see what we get here. Uh, Vileplume. Well, oh, look, it's so happy. 
Um, let's actually go ahead and switch to noise. Noise might be able to weaken it a little bit uh, faster. Aromatherapy. Fancy. Okay, this is not gonna be too hard, I think. But it knows Mega Drain and Absorb right off the get go. And Stun Sport! This Vile Plume is set. So let's go ahead and catch it. Very poison grass type focused team already. Oh, that's right, Chet Skim. Totally forgot about it. I don't use Ekans that much, can you tell? Get in. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, veterans or people that love watching us like videos on YouTube are already probably going to be saying, It's Nup Top! It's Nup Top! It's not. It's not Nup Top. Uh... Whammel. There. Named. And you have an item. What do you got? Cornberry? Huh. I've actually never seen this berry before. Then again, I really don't mess with berries that much. Also, Pokemon will sometimes carry random items. Case of here, it's a corn berry. Oh, it's something. More vial blue? Sure. Get out there, boys. You're actually perfect for doing with this because. Well, if he paralyzes you, you eventually just shed your skin. It's actually kind of nice. Noise, oh, why'd you miss? Why'd you miss this? Why'd you miss again, Noise? It's not exactly rocket science here, Noise. You just walk up to it and be like, I'm gonna hug. grass types for. Oh, here we go. Cubone. That's an excellent Pokemon to beat up. And I kind of wish I had a Cubone. Cubone's one of those Pokemon I, when I grew up as a kid, I saw once and it's like, wow, that looks so, that looks actually kind of cute and fun and stuff like that. And then you try to find one. And it's like the most difficult thing ever to find. Oh, it shelters. And Weedles. Kingler? Nice. Keep giving me good old clean Kingler to beat up. 
at 88 XP. That's decent. And if I keep running into him and... Hello. Awkward with Pokemon. Well, I can still pick it up pretty quick. Ooh, a Devo Learner. Actually! Your stats, I'm looking at them really well. 20 SP, 23 attack. Your attack is pretty good. Wow, what the heck do you have? Gentle. Alright. I'm definitely going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center with the rest up. I think this is probably going to be one of my safer areas to work on leveling up a bit. Because again, it's a nice lock run. You gotta be paranoid. If you do not prepare, you will lose. Right now, my team is so poison and grass uh, heavy right now. All it's going to take is... Get the hell out of here, some floor. Nobody likes you. going to take basically an entire firebase team just destroy me. Alright, uh, let's go back and heal up. Should I? I don't even know if I want to go fight the rival. Usually I always go fight him over this way, just as common practice, but the weasel. Frickin' weasel, man. Alright, Whammel. Time for you to get some training in. Let's go! Training montage! Activate! Oh, crap! Well, all forgiven. Sun Flora, go away. Take one. Come on, give me a Kingler or a Cubo. That is the oddest looking Cubo. How about a tr different one? There, that's better. And Whammel can now outspeed a Kingler. Wow. That was not a one-shot. Wow, leveling up really fast. Nice. I can dig this. There we go, Cubo. And if you already couldn't tell, the moves are not randomized in this game. Oh, it's weirdo, the Pokemon. I've never even seen this guy in the original in Gen 2 when he came out. I never encountered him. out of the ocean. Oh, I get it, see. <laughs> you develop land legs. Yeah, you're just leveling up really fast, and I really like it. <laughs> Keep it up. I think the 
it's good enough. All right, I'm I'm happy with this. Let's rest up, get the PP back. Talk to you. And... Oh! Joy of all joys! It's a Weedle! Oh, better catch it! Legendary Weedle! Hooray! Well, now that that legendary quest is out of our way, continue on to this room, which we will hopefully get something good. I'm thinking keeping Whammo in the front of my party is going to just help with catching something, so here we go. Well, hello there. Um... Sure. This is interesting, because I don't know if I can not kill it accidentally. Possibly Devo can whip it good and not kill it. Awesome. That's good enough. That's that's good. Come on. Work with me here. You're the first not grass type poison type for my team. And the best part is I still don't technically have to buy antidotes. Nice. Alright, Agron. Team I'm thinking. Ugh, sturdy. Why couldn't you have Rockhead? Well, the ability is pretty much useless. But headbutt, mud slap, hardened tackle. Headbutt and mud slap are pretty good. 